Well, every spring, Ann Graham Lotz and her family used to watch the track and field teams compete at a local college. Their favorite event? the relay race. Anne wants to remind Christians that life is similar. It's one thing to be able to run the race, but we also need to be sure to pass the baton of faith along to the next generation. Well-loved author Anne Graham Lotz has teamed up with her daughter, Rachel Ruth Lotz Wright, on a book very close to their hearts. My parents and grandparents longed to ignite faith in those who came after them. But what does that look like in today's world? It's been such a blessing to write Jesus followers with my mom. Together we look at how God can use our witness, our worship, our walk, and our work to draw others to faith. Jesus Followers offers a glimpse into the living rooms and prayer closets of the Graham and Lotz families and equips us to leave a legacy of faith. Well, Ann Graham Lotz and Rachel Ruth Lotz Wright are joining us now via Skype. And we welcome both of you guys to the 700 Club. Thanks so much for being with us today. Ashley, thank you. And congratulations on your first day as hostess of the 700 Club. That's a big deal. Thank you so much. That's such a blessing coming from you. Well, Ann, on a personal note, your son, Jonathan, was in the ICU earlier this summer with COVID. How is he doing? Give us an update. He's doing great. His spirits are wonderful. He's um, back on oxygen at night, but he's back to preaching. He preached twice last weekend, and he's the interim pastor of a little church, so he preaches every weekend. And um, and I just want to thank all those, Ashley, who uh, listen to you, people who uh, have been praying for him because God has answered prayer. Thank you for that. Amen. Amen. Well, in your new book, you compare the passing of one's faith to a relay race. How so? Give, go more into depth about that, Anne. Well, we pulled, I pulled out uh, the basis from Genesis chapter 5, which is a genealogy. And there were 10 men in that chapter who passed the truth to the next generation. And each generation has to embrace the truth for themselves. But it went from um, Seth, who was Adam and Eve's third son, all the way down to Noah. When it came to Noah, he was the last man um, you know, who received it, and no one else did. If, if it hadn't been for those men passing that truth down from generation to generation, we wouldn't be here, Ashley. And so um, it's very critical that every generation um, not only knows the truth, but embraces the truth and passes the truth to the next generation. So they pick it up and they embrace it for themselves. And so the theme of this book, we've just taken four parts from that Genesis 5, the, the uh, witness, the worship, the walk, and the work. And then Rachel Ruth has written some incredible stories to illustrate each part. And uh, and we just want, uh, it's, it's part of our family heritage. God has given us a an incredible heritage, and we just want to invite other people who perhaps haven't had a heritage like ours, but to share in ours through the examples that Rachel Ruth writes in this book. Yeah, absolutely, and I love the stories that you guys include in it. Well, Rachel Ruth, your grandfather's crusades introduced millions of people to Jesus, but you knew him as Daddy Bill. What did you learn from him in your childhood? He, I loved him because I knew him as my grandfather. And so even though he was up on stage and, and that's how people saw him, when we were with him, he was so grandfatherly and so sweet. And I wrote a story in the book about how he gave us his full attention. So when we were in the room, it was like we were the only people in the world and he would listen to us and pray with us. And I remember my sister and I going up to spend a weekend with um, he and my grandmother and crawling up on their bed and it was snowing outside and the fire was going. We would just read the word together and pray. And he was wonderful and made such an impact on my life. He was very consistent and and also very humble. And so I remember multiple times him telling me, I just feel like I haven't done enough and almost emotional about it when he said it. And that made a huge impact on me. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Anne, how did your faith, uh, how did the parents of your faith and grandparents influence your life? You know, I think primarily, Ashley, by their example. Mm -hmm. And uh, my room was over my mother's in the house in which I grew up. And at night, uh, I'd slip downstairs. She would be on her knees in prayer for, for a long I, In fact, I would go back up to my room because I knew she wasn't going to interrupt her prayer time. Mm -hmm. I'd get up in the morning real early uh, before daylight, see the, the um, light on the trees outside my window, go downstairs. She'd be at her flat top desk reading her Bible. I would catch her in prayer. I would catch her reading her Bible. And then she lived it out. Uh, my grandparents were the same way. And, uh, and my daddy, my mother 
uh, every morning led us in family devotions with Bible reading. Um, and so she taught me by her example to read my Bible every morning. And then my daddy, when he had devotions at night, he would read a passage and explain it. And we would discuss it. And he taught me to think about what I was reading. So, so I think, you know, there are practical things we can do. And Rachel Ruth covers those in these stories. But it's also just uh, what I guess both of us would stress. It's the authenticity of our own relationship with Jesus. I have to be a Jesus follower or myself um, in order to lead my children, my grandchildren, and to um, really impact those around me so that they too choose to be a Jesus follower. Yes, amen to that. Well, Rachel Ruth, tell us what you admired about your grandmother, Ruth Bell Graham. You also have a really funny story about something she wore to a formal dinner one night. Tell us about that. <laughs> she was amazing. I We miss her every single day. Just so full of life, so witty, so much fun, but very, very godly. And and she also would pray with me and we'd discuss scripture. And she was such a godly um, influence in my life. But that one situation, she didn't have a formal to wear. So she wore her nightgown, <laughs> just dressed it up with pearls and made it look so nice. And so wow. she was just so, so fabulous and so for real mm -hmm. and loved Jesus with all of her heart. And it was evident on her face. It was evident everything she did. And, and I know we just strive to be like her because she was so wonderful, so. Yeah, absolutely. What a legacy you guys are living out. Well, Anne and Rachel Ruth have much more in their brand new book. It's called Jesus Followers, Real Life Lessons for Igniting Faith in the Next Generation. And it's available wherever books are sold. Anne and Rachel Ruth, thank you guys so much for being with us today. Thank, Thank you, you, Ashley. God bless you. God bless you.